Moving to question number 7. A 2 year old unvaccinated child had upper respiratory tract infection like symptoms for one week including cough, coryza and low grade fever. Cough was progressively severe and more at night. Subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from Prep Ladder. Moving to question number 7. A 2 year old unvaccinated child had upper respiratory tract infection like symptoms for one week including cough, coryza and low grade fever. Cough was progressively severe and more at night, eventually developing a characteristic inspiratory whoop. So, upper respiratory features, low grade fever and inspiratory whoop with severe cough. What are we thinking of? The likely diagnosis here is pertussis. These are the Typical features which are seen in whooping cough or pertussis caused by bordetella pertussis. Also, parapertussis can cause a similar syndrome, which is not true regarding this condition. So, let us look at the four options here. So, it is usually bacterial but can be adenoviral in some cases. It is a true statement. Why? Because majority of cases are caused by bordetella pertussis as well as parapertussis. Sometimes, adenovirus can produce a, a very similar looking infection. So, it can have a whooping cough like character as well. Second is more severe in infants than older children. That is true. Infants have higher risk of developing severe pertussis. They have higher risk of developing apneic episodes and hypoxemia and the mortality in less than one year of age is also high. So, this is also a true statement. Option number C. No role of nasopharyngeal swab in the diagnosis that is absolutely false. Nasopharyngeal swab or nasopharyngeal washing, PCR on that according to Nelson is considered to be the laboratory investigation test of choice. Uh, so, nasopharyngeal swab can also be used for culture. Culture is the most specific uh, investigation or you can say gold standard investigation for these patients. And macrolides are the drug of choice, you know that this is also a true statement because macrolides like azithromycin and erythromycin are the first line agents. So, they are asking which is not true. So, the answer to question number 7 is C. What are the key points about pertussis that you need to remember related to uh, the, the thing which we have dis discussed? So, first thing is clinical point. Whenever there is high grade fever during severe cough episode, it is usually a point against pertussis infection. Please remember. Second is leukocytosis with a range between 15,000 to as high as 1 lakh cells per microliter caused by absolute lymphocytosis is characteristic in the cateral stage. This is a separate MCQ which has been asked in super specialty exam already in the past. Right? They had asked lymphocytosis is more prominent in which stage of pertussis? Four options were there and one of the option was cateral stage that was your answer. Then PCR done on nasopharyngeal swab or nasopharyngeal washings is the test of choice according to Nelson. Uh, specific diagnosis depends upon isolation of the organism from either nasopharyngeal swab or cuff plate culture which has been cultured on bordered gangu medium. And serology is useful. It is a very sensitive test but it is useful in epidemiological studies but commercially it is not easily available. So, according to Nelson, PCR on nasopharyngeal swab or nasopharyngeal washing is the test of choice. Thank you.